Right, let's discuss uh, this uh, further with uh, Khalid Mahmoud, a British Labour MP from uh, Birmingham. He joins us live. You're live on RT, sir. If the jihadist executor in the video is confirmed to be from Britain, uh, what does this say about the UK? Well, I suppose part of the problem is that in the uh, 80s, uh, when a lot of these movements were starting, people like Abu Hamza, Abu Qatayda, uh, al Majroon, all these sort of movements, Hizbul Tahrir was starting, uh, because of the belief that we have about freedom of speech, uh, there was a significant debate about that we should allow everybody to express their views uh, and not to drive any movement underground and to allow that to happen. And I suppose that perspective carried on until 9-11. Uh, and when people realized there was a real significant threat from, from these individuals, uh, that the, the, whole th uh, the, the whole issue around the, the, these people changed. The UK's foreign secretary says the incident shows that there's a real risk of terrorists returning to Britain. Uh, but, I mean, this is not, it's, it's been known for quite a while now. So why has there been such yeah. a slow reaction to, to tackle that? Well, I'm flabbergasted by the Foreign Secretary's statement uh, because his predecessor uh, was warned some time ago. Uh, over three years, I've been saying this, that these, these issues will, will, will come to fore if we don't do anything about it. We have a UK border agency that is not fit for purpose. Uh, these people should be sifted out as they come through back, if they're coming back. Uh, looking at anybody who stays over a period of time, uh, why haven't they come back? And some might have been working, and that's fine, but you can, have, you can vet that out, those that are working and those that have been doing other, other, other sort of activities in the area. So you can do that quite clearly and effectively. But this government has been very, very slow in looking at these issues and trying to deal with them. They are much, much more preoccupied by going to Europe, particularly the Foreign Secretary, uh, and asking for uh, lifting of the arms embargo uh, against uh, Syria so they can supply uh, arms and weapons, which America has been doing, uh, and other Muslim countries have been doing, Qatar particularly, and Saudi Arabia. Uh, and we supplied some stuff in terms of communication uh, to these people, and all of these people uh, have got a hold of this, predominantly uh, Al-Qaeda types and ISIS type, who have now uh, turned into a, a formidable force. Uh, say, having said what you've just said, taking that, how much of the current situation uh, is a byproduct of the West uh, supporting the opposition then in Syria? Well, I think uh, significant. Uh, and if your foreign secretary is saying that, you know, we, we need to do this and take a light touch attitude towards people that are going out there, uh, and not and take into consideration what the implication of that would be, uh, then uh, these things would happen. And, and uh, there were a number of people who were going out there, and I've been warning from the very start about this, uh, and, and really nobody's prepared to take action because uh, of the agenda that there was there to try and get rid of uh, Assad, you know, whatever he was. I think we've either got to change our policy about the way we deal with these issues, or we're going to continue to be in this position uh, for a long time to come. British Labour MP Khalid Mahmoud, thank you very much for your time and being on RT International.